one of the Irish Grand National next then just three more five furlongs the Irish Grand National it's a grade three handicap first coalition at the top for Leon Van Rensburg Scally Owen John Morgan Sierra Vista Medusa Vinnie Gerard bring me luck for Graham Clutterbuck King's Measure John Morgan there on time David Hooley Sacred Memorial Leon Van Rensburg Little Rock Kingdom Vinnie Gerard Donna Bin and Area Elliott for David Rawson Blossom World David Hooley Marazzi on Darren Thompson Place the Duchess Alex Cherry Sandgate Combat James Shea Langley Street Graham Clutterbuck Amanda Matt Cooper Mama Song James Shea Tayside Tiger Matt Cooper Nicholas Silver Martin Leadham and Chambry Moulin Alex Cherry as usual most of them at the handicap and away they go King's Measure. Looks like it's going to go off into the lead. Uh, it's going to be a John Morgan Blaze trailer, or Trailblazer, should I say, which will definitely make the race different as they get to the first of the 22. And uh, all of the runners are over it safely. 20 runners taking 22 fences, 21 of them left. Fences, that is. King's Measure in the lead. Bottom white Shelbury Moulin as they take that ditch. They're all safely over that. Well, I say bottom white Shelbury Moulin. There's about well, there's quite a few bottom whites. Uh, King is the one who should be bottom white. This, but he's the one who's probably inconvenienced the most as they get over the third. And King's measure. I'll probably make sure that quite a few of them are inconvenienced quite a lot by the pace. King's Measure is eight lengths clear. I've placed the Duchess and Chambry Moon out as they get over the fourth. With Marazzi on. After that one. Marazzi on running a hunter last week. Might be a low graded. 0 to 120 perhaps. Anyway, they're over the fifth. I'm safely over that one. Except for your Little Rock Kingdom. Little Rock Kingdom was a faller. Slightly obscured over on the far side. But that's gone. King's Measure continues to lead from Marazzi on and place the Duchess Tayside Tiger is fourth as they get over the ditch. With Area Elliot, just a back marker. Plenty of opportunities for these horses this week. I'm pretty much certain that everything that's running in this race could have gone for the Whitbread instead. That's Sandan. Make your own choice as to which one you think is the most prestigious race. That's maybe non-racing people might see the words Grand National and make the Irish Grand National the bigger of the two but if you're an old timer like me traditionalist uh, Whitbread is the premier long distance handicap chase around a park course of the entire season and well, hopefully that's where the best horses have gone I should be commentated on that tomorrow well, I've got a horse in it that won it two years ago so see if you can pop back and do that she won the um, fox hunters at Cheltenham so she's still got a bit of form in it as they get over the night finding Alice if anybody's wondering which one it is and it's King's Measure who's in the lead she could have run in this but she's gone to the Whitbread to see if she can win it back she didn't quite make it last year but who knows King's Measure in front then Donovan second place the Duchess third Marazzi on fourth then Scalio in with Tayside Tiger and Chambry Moulin. And they're on time and bring me luck. With Mama Song and Blossom World as they take the 10th of the 22. Safely over it. This race has got a big boost, didn't it, years ago? And on to a really big horse that started running Desert Walking with it, I think, didn't he? And um, one or two others. That's King's Measure in the lead. Marazzi on in second and Scalio and they've got a complete circuit of the track still to go they're going to pass the winning post now and then head out on that final circuit and King's Measure will go into that final circuit with a 4 to 5 length lead probably not gone off quite as quick as we might have expected he would that caused the carnage that these John Morgan front runners can cause in some races they haven't got a strung out as they were doing Earlier in the day and yesterday, and it's a fall of air. It's uh, Sierra Vista Medusa is gone, so unlucky race for Vinnie Gerard. Both of his have gone, the only two fallers in the race, and they're both Vinnie's. So, a bad luck for him there. It's King.
King's measure in the lead. If they get over this ditch. Scalio in second. And Donna Bin and Chambry Moulin. Marazzi on his next. And place the Duchess and bring me look. Taste on Tiger Era. Area Elliot is after that. The only grey in the field is Nicholas Silver. That one, not as I mentioned before now. As they get over the next. With Amanda. Just the back marker. But there's still nothing ever got to within three lengths of this King's measure. And like a lot of John Morgan's horses, is quite lightly raced. He doesn't chuck them in every week like most people do. He only runs them if he thinks they've got the right conditions. Uh, so sometimes you get to this end of the season, you've got a pretty much of an idea about what a horse is capable of. But you've not always got it with these. John Morgan horses because you've only seen them three or four times whereas the rest of them you've seen them well, getting on for a dozen times and King's Measure is still clear and still seems to be going well enough in front there's a mile to go uh, stood off that ditch but got over it okay Chambry Moulin is in second then Dollar Bin an area early at place the Duchess is after that and then Scalio and Bring Me Luck Sacred Memorial one or two of them coming quite wide. Tayside Tiger Mama Song is even wider. As Blossom Will drops to the back, and King's Measure's lead is now down to a length and a half. Chambry Moulin looks to be going well in second. Then comes Dollar Bin Area Elliot. After that one, Tayside Tiger is the one who's making a good move around the outside. The grey Nicholas Silver is trying to get into it as well. But it's King's Measure. He's kicking on again now. And he's gone back into a three or four length lead. Heading down to the 19th of the 22. Over it nicely. Chambry Moulin over it in second. Good jump by Marazion. Goes into second. Then Donna Bin and Bring Me Luck. Tayside Tiger place the Duchess. Nicholas Silver on the outside. They're heading down towards the third last. And King's Measure is clear of Marazion. Then after that, but Nicholas Silver's moved into third. Donna Bin is next. Tayside Tiger. Chambry Moulin. One being pulled up there. Scalio has been pulled up, but it's King's Measure in the lead. From Marazion in second. Then comes Nicholas Silver back in third. Chambry Moulin and place the Duchess. There's only two more fences to take. And King's Measure's been in the lead all the way, but Marazion is now looking at big danger on the outside. Coming down towards this second last then. Marazion on the outside just pokes its head in front, but a better jump by King's Measure. But Chambry Moulin's moved back into third. King's Measure's back in the lead. Marazion, these two are in a battle royal as they come down towards the final fence in the Irish National. It's King's Measure and Marazion. They land together. King's Measure's a neck in front. King's Measure. Marazion is trying to fight back. King's Measure's on the inside. Marazion is getting closer. King's Measure sticking his nose out. It's a head bobber as they race up towards the line. King's Measure on the inside. Marazion closes to us. It's going to be close as they race inside the final. Oh, it's close. In the shadow of the post, Marazion might have got up. King's Measure's led everywhere but on the line just about. I think it's difficult to tell from the angle. Did it hold on or did Marazion get up? That is close. That is close. It'll be heartbreak for King's Measure if it's been beaten, which according to that it has. And it has. Marazion for Darren Thompson from out of the handicap takes it. So Darren Thompson not satisfied with winning the Grand National last week. Pops up and takes the Irish one this week with a different horse. A heartbreak for John Morgan as King's Measure was in the lead all the way and looked like he was going to hang on, but just got collared on the line. Ever there was a race that should have finished a dead heat, that was it, to be honest. King's Measure certainly didn't deserve to lose. Blossom World was third for David Hooley, placed the Duchess fourth, Rannick's Cherry, and Mama Song for James Shea was fifth.